Thank you, Mr. President. Dear friends, I'm uh, very glad to have this opportunity to speak to you today. The theme you have uh, chosen for this session of the Congress, Europe in crisis, the challenges for local and regional democracy, is timely and relevant. There are indeed a number of worrying trends. We see researching nationalism, and many talk, are talking about taking the decisions home. We have also seen the rise of xenophobic and nationalist parties. This is not progress towards a more open and tolerant society. On the contrary, these are worrying signs. At the last session uh, of the Parliamentary Assembly, I outlined my vision of the crisis. I said that Europe is facing an economic crisis but also one of institutions. National and European institutions struggle to respond, but are often seen as insufficiently equipped to deliver concrete responses. The crisis of institutions is closely linked to another one, the crisis of trust. We see a sharp de decline of citizens' trust in European bodies, national institutions, as well as the entire political class. The cumulated effect of these three crises is a fourth one, namely the crisis of values. We can see it in the rise of extremism, hate speech, nationalism, vilification of migrants and the hatred of the others. So how do we respond to these multiple crises? Well, as you uh, referred to yourself, Mr. President, I said in the Parliamentary Assembly that uh, corruption and also misuse of power is the biggest threat to democracy today. We can find this everywhere, and I think it is spreading. We have, ex we have seen examples um, of this in Slovenia, Spain, Ukraine, Malta, Finland, my own country, Norway also, and many others have the share of recent corruption scandals. No part of the continent is spared and no country is immune. It would be too easy to discount it on cultural aspects. If you want to tackle it, we need structural improvements. We have to develop an independent and trustworthy judiciary, and we have to have freedom of media. And, of course, the parliaments are playing a crucial role in controlling the executive power. And you, at the local level, you also have to have uh, bodies that are able to take on these crucial issues. Greco and Monival are our main tools here. Yet often, corruption at grassroots is the most visible and unjust. And this is where you come in, by designing and disseminating instruments and practices which curb administrative discretion in municipalities by raising the quality and the ethical standards of local and regional governance and by increasing citizens' participation in it. Another priority as you mentioned, Mr. President, is the protection of minorities. This is where our commitment to values and standards is exposed to the most rigorous tests. The situation with the Roma, the largest minority on this continent, is particularly upsetting. I have said this again and again in this uh, assembly. Many continue to live in appalling housing conditions, attend segregated schools and classes and are regularly victims of violence and hate speech. This situation is a result of decades of, and centuries of discrimination. The economic crisis is a uh, further fertile ground for anti-Roma rhetoric by populist politicians, deepening prejudice and leading to even more racism. This is why I believe that in addition to an initiative of social inclusion, we have to work on policies that change attitudes towards Roma population, 
We need to tackle the deeply rooted anti gypsyism of our societies. Connected to this is, of course, the fight against intolerance and hate speech in general. Europe is a continent of diversity. If we want, to, we want it to remain one, we must take a leading role in combating extremism and violence and hate speech, in particular hate speech, which we see daily on, uh, online. Ladies and gentlemen, democracy is not sustainable without its local dimension. At the end of the day, it is through grassroots in our towns and regions that we are most effective in responding to challenges. It is in our cities and towns that we shape an active civic position of our citizens, educate their democratic values and provide them with opportunities. It is in our municipalities that we promote respect for diversity, foster tolerance and counter extremism. It is by interacting primarily with towns and cities that people go upon the transparency and effectiveness of governance or the decree of corruption of our institutions. The effectiveness of the Council of Europe action is what the Member States expect from us. The Council of Europe must become more operational and action-oriented, more present in the field, more practical and less theoretical, not only setting the norms but also helping to remove the obstacles for their application. You are, I would say this clearly, you are not on the right track in pursuing the reform of the Congress, in strengthening the operational dimension and broadening the cooperation and dialogue with other bodies of this organization. I appreciate the recent steps undertaken by the Secretary General of the Congress to adapt the structures of the Secretariat in order to reflect this growing operational dimension and the need to focus on concrete follow-up action. I can already see your increased operational capacity reflected in your assistance projects and the general cooperation programs of the Council of Europe in the Member States as well as over neighbourhood. Unfortunately, I cannot participate tomorrow at the launch of the European Alliance of Cities and Regions for Roma Inclusion. But I would like to say that I am happy to see that after months of hard work or preparations and extensive consultations, it is now launched. We are all aware, of course, of the crucial role the local and regional authorities have to play in this, and many municipalities are ready to do it but need our assistance. But this is a very, very good example on how the Council of Europe can be more operational on the ground, more action-oriented, and indeed we need it uh, not only on this um, topic, but also on others. Dear friends, I am uh, fully aware of the difficult financial situation that the Council of Europe and its entities have to share with its member states hit by the economic crisis and that the Congress has been called in to contribute to sharing these difficulties. The Congress is being asked to do more, more quality monitoring and election observation, more targeted and result-oriented thematic action, more operational and cooperation activities with less resources. I know many of you worry about this, and I share your concerns. As I was saying, we face major challenges. The months ahead, in particular, are going to be full of tough decisions. These are extraordinary times, and the stakes are high. Maintaining credibility in this difficult climate is harder than ever and challenging. We share we all share the duty to respond to the expectations of our members and partners. But I, I have no doubts that we can do it. The history of Europe has proved it over and over again and again. I said at the outset of my intervention here that we are also facing a um, crisis of values. 
And that's why it's so important that we not only have in mind, but that we also are educating our people at the European level, at the national level, at the local level, that indeed we have, uh, as an organization, the mandate to speak out for the European values enshrined in three fundamental documents, namely the European Convention on Human Rights, the European Social Charter, and of course the charter that you are uh, building your work upon. All these treaties and charters are uh, explaining the uh, European values uh, that um, all European citizens uh, are embracing, but in times of crisis, we all need to speak out more about it, and we need to work hard on the ground in particular in order to uh, spreading this message and uh, to get people to support um, these fundamental values that the our organization are building upon. And I count on you as uh, the ma major uh, players in our democracies um, and that we do that in tandem with, of course, national political leaders as well as European political leaders. I know that you have a very busy week ahead of you, uh, but I do hope that you take time to put some questions uh, to me. Thank you very much.